What's going on guys, it is your boy Angry SA Gamer. Today's video is about Plant Warrior and the tank that he is with the new um, enchantment and also um, Regenerate and Scorch. You would not believe the difference Scorch makes. If you haven't done it yet, please check in your YouTube settings or whatever you can check if you are subscribed to me. If you're not, I would... I would suggest, but I would appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button, like button, and also the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's jump right into this video and let me show you what this guy can do. I think it's relevant again. This is him at Breakthrough 5. Uh, regenerate 9 of 9. Skill 12 of 12, not 13 of 13, unfortunately not. And also Scorch 8. Uh, the equipment is not the best, but um, enchantment is good. The Unholy Conviction reduces damage received by 40% in battle. Also increases this hero's healing received by 100%. Traits. I don't have good traits. This is what I have. I want HP traits only. Scorch has a 50% chance to negate all damage when attacked. His skill Restores HP to 4 random allied heroes, equal to 900% of Plant Warrior's attack. Plant Warrior and these allied heroes each deal 640% attack damage to nearby enemy targets. Cooldown 4 seconds. Plant Warrior is immune to silence and conditions of calamity. Regenerate raises heroes energy recovery by 130 percent and healing by 130 percent only energy from damage and basic attacks i don't know what that means but uh, his overall health is 214,000 plus 248,000. it's got quite a huge attack of 9700 with an additional 11,500. So I'm going to go full out on this. I'm not going to set up specific heroes. I'm just going to take the top legends in this um, in this base and fight them. They have pets, crests, warden. Everything is available. Um, I want to show what he can do by tanking what legends and for how long he can tank such legends. So he doesn't tank that long. It <sighs> went much better than it is going now. There he starts healing, but it's like he's frozen and he can't do anything, and that's what's happening. Um, and when he can't hit, he cannot build a decent proc. So let's go with Iron Will. That is definitely not Iron Will, because I'm an idiot. We got that Iron Will insignia. I'm going to go from this side just to get him a better chance. Um, okay, so... Okay, Scorch was the best one that I tested out of all the uh, insignia, insignias to my disposal oh at my disposal let's see if it does better than this okay there he's getting some hits in at least now it's doing better than scorch it seems but it's not is this the real world is this what happens to all youtubers I'm guessing I don't know Let's, let's just go and attack my plant warrior in his base. See if that works. Come on, stay up. Stay alive. Okay, his tanking is not... He's not being stunned up as much. He's not being stunned up at all. The best one to put in now is Lavanica, actually. But plant warrior is tanking which is good but also he has the extra defense from the base which is level 25 and has a max skin I don't know if that helps but um, yeah he's actually about to kill boogeyman I'm gonna get the Levanica back in here and see um, if you can tank Levanica. Because that would be nice if you could. Survival and 
uh, um, sacred light on this Levanica, so it's going to be a bit difficult. I ain't gonna lie. But hopefully with Plant Warrior not being stunned up as much, he would heal better. And he is, but he's still stunned up a lot. He is, come on, get a hit in. Full heal, that was brilliantly done. That was a full heal. He can actually tank a Levanica on his own base. Look at that. That is nice, but that is only on his own base. Come on, get a full heal in. He gets a full heal in every time, and he dies. Damn. But he did tank for about 18 seconds. Which is quite good. Let's get Dove in there. Unholy packed with life drain and punching box. I think this plant warrior is going to have the worst day of his life. I think so. Tanking? Tanking very, very well. I did not expect this. Hmm. Not anymore. But I ended it, so I don't know if he would have killed him again. Let's see. I don't know. The punching box is going to probably play a big role in this. He is not stunned up as much. And he is tanking her on her base. And now you have to remember, we have a boatload of doves hitting on him. Double word play there. She's obviously a massive damage dealer and the extra base um so i mean not bad lazulix would be quite interesting though let's see what happens instant proc is he dying he's not dying he's healing through that Lazulix is just going to proc over and over and over again. This is going to amount to nothing. Let's switch uh, accounts here. And then after this, the obvious one, Gunslinger. What would he do one-on-one -on -one against Gunslinger? Um, he's losing a lot of life, but he also gains so much life back. It is absolutely crazy. This is going to go on forever. So I'd say definitely worth it leveling him up. Plant Warrior if you're free to play. The outcome. I'm not sure that the outcome is going to favor me. I hope it does. And it does. Actually it does. Wow. Wow. I did not expect that to happen. I did not expect that to happen. But would he be able to do the same on G Gunslinger's turf though? Let's go about there, get a chance to get her um, choppers out. Yep, choppers are out, but it's not enough. Let's take this. I, I really want to see if Mahatma, what would Plant Warrior do against Mahatma? On Gunslinger's turf now at the moment, he cannot heal. He does heal, actually he does. And he kills her. And he kills her on her turf. Walla, obviously, better than Plant Warrior. Walla is full health, so is Plant Warrior. Which is actually insane. Because... I for sure thought that Plant Warrior would be dead. This is actually a like him fighting himself. It's 
One is just gonna keep healing, the other one's gonna keep healing. Lose half your life, gain gain it back immediately. Now this is on plant warriors turf. Hello cookie. Hello cookie go. Hello go. So this is on plant warrior stuff. Um, let's switch and see what happens on Walla stuff. She loves it so much to be scratched. She starts drooling. <laughs> She's a weirdo. Okay. Um. Okay, let's attack this Walla Walla. Hopefully, Plant Warrior can withstand the attacks from Walla. He's losing his life, but he gains so much HP back. Oopsie, he's about to die. Uh, come on, get a full heal in there, man. It's 100% heal. Is that what your enchantment says? Seems like he's... Oh, he's about to die. He's about to die. Ah, there's a heal, but that is not... There he goes. There's a full heal from the skill and the enchantment causing a full heal there. But he's not getting that much damage onto Walla. Which is a problem though. Because if you had one more legend to hit on Plant Warrior, he would be dead. But not necessarily have another legend on Walla. So that's the only thing. Got my finger full of drool, man. Stop it. So there you have it, boys. Uh, the Plant Warrior versus some of the top legends in the game. And successfully, might I add. Not too bad. And this time, Scorch didn't do as well as Sacred Light. Which is very interesting. I hope you boys enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative enough for you. Uh, so if you're free to play and you do have Plant Warrior, it's definitely worth leveling it up. He is quite a good tank. Um, probably for Arena and stuff like that. Lost Battlefield. See you guys in the next crazy video that Gabasaurus has set up for me. Which I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to have time tonight. But if not, I'm going to definitely do that video tomorrow. So uh, hit the bell button so you can know when that video is uploaded. It's going to be crazy. Let me tell you that. It's going to be crazy. See you boys in the next video. Goodbye.